In this one, I wanna go through setting up and also using Grammarly on the iPhone, which is a keyboard extension that checks your spelling and grammar amongst some other things as well. So when you open the app up, you're gonna to have to go and click on get started and it will essentially walk you through the setup process. You can use one of your accounts to log into Grammarly if you want, but you don't have to. There is also an option down in the bottom right hand corner that says not now. You can press that and set up Grammarly without having to log in. Going through step two of the process, you do need to add Grammarly keyboard to your iPhone. So go ahead and press the option down at the bottom. It will then take you through to the settings page. What you have to do is press the keyboards option and it will take you through to adding Grammarly. You do have to check that box green so that you allow Grammarly and you also do have to allow full access to the Grammarly keyboard as well. When you do press allow full access, a pop-up will be there, basically telling you that there may be some data transfer from the keyboard to Grammarly. You do have to allow full access to use Grammarly, but it is just a warning page anyway that pretty much anything that you type on the keyboard can go back to Grammarly for them to process. This is what Grammarly has to do. So if you want to use this, you do have to allow that. And then the quickest way to get back to Grammarly is just to swipe up from the bottom of your iPhone and then go back to the setup process within the app. As you can see here, step three is switching to the Grammarly keyboard. There should be an option down at the bottom of your keyboard that looks like a world icon. So if you just press and hold that down, then the options for your keyboard settings will come up. You can then swipe to which one that you want to use. In this case, of course, Grammarly. Once you do press and choose Grammarly, it will then switch through to the Grammarly app itself. So if I just let go and switch to Grammarly, as you can see, you're all set. Then you can use Grammarly in Gmail, Facebook, or Twitter, for example, as it says. If you're happy with this now, you can just swipe out of Grammarly from the bottom and go and use it in apps because you are using the Grammarly keyboard right now. As you can see, there is an option at the bottom called Writing Insights. This will give you some insight into your writing habits. So you can turn that on if you like. So for example, if I turn it on, you may want to allow Grammarly to send you notifications or not. Maybe if you press don't allow, then those insights will be within the Grammarly app, but they won't tell you through a notification. You're all done with Grammarly, so you can swipe out of the app itself and go and use it in various other apps. And I've just come through to a pages document in the iPhone and this will work with pages or Microsoft Word or Gmail or pretty much anything. So when you've written a sentence, you can also switch to the Grammarly keyboard for it to scan that sentence and change. It does make two changes on this occasion. It puts a space between 10 and PM and also it puts an apostrophe in the word don't as that was misspelled. If you want to also scan the entire text that you've written, you can press the G icon one time and it will check everything once more. This time it has found the it's is wrong as well, so adds an apostrophe in there. You can tap that and it now thinks that everything you've written is grammatically correct. If you want to get back to the keyboard, you can press the ABC with the arrow and the English keyboard will come back. Also, if you just press G again and you go through to the settings page, you can turn on and off many settings in here. So for example, if you don't want emoji suggestions, you can turn those off. Going through to managing your personal dictionary as well, you do have to have a Grammarly account for this one. So if you skip that in the first place, you're gonna to have to log in with one of your accounts. Once you've signed in with one of those accounts, you can go back to the keyboard settings scroll down to the bottom and then manage your personal dictionary here. If there are some unique spellings that you know or use, you can go and add those in the personal dictionary and it will use them as all the other words. You can press the plus button in the top right hand corner, add any word, the word through, if that's not in the dictionary, you can add that. And then it's in there in the dictionary and it will use those words as they were correct. So that's a good way to add some personalizations to the dictionary in Grammarly. Very simple to install and use and a fairly useful keyboard overall for the free version. Hope that was helpful. If it was, please give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.